Now in more of your health news, a group of students in the southwest are looking into coronaviruses within different bat species in our region. And while the pandemic is over, COVID is still here to stay. KTSM 9 News reporter Tani Davis is live in studio tonight to explain how this research could improve how we see COVID spreading within humans. Hey there, Tani. Hey there, Carla. Students were specifically looking at the coronavirus to see what kind of variants bats have. This work will provide important data regarding the extent to which coronaviruses are maintained in local bat populations. It is important to note that bats do not carry the coronavirus out in the wild. In fact, bats provide many benefits, which include helping to control insects, pollinating desert flowers, and maintaining healthy ecosystems. Bats are thought to serve as hosts for coronaviruses. The outbreak of SARS-CoV-2 has has raised the question of whether bats native to North America can also serve as long term reservoirs of related viruses. And in the process, they have been using new research procedures. We're using uh, various types of laboratory techniques, um, including something called immunohistochemistry, where we're taking small samples of bat tissues and we're subjecting them to reagents that are specifically designed to detect coronavirus in tissue sections. These viruses won't directly pass to the researchers, but it is important to understand how these viruses evolve and how they affect the local bat populations. And we'll have more about the research involving bats later tonight on KTSM 9 News at 10. Reporting live in studio, Tony Davis, KTSM 9 News.